It has now been over 24 hours since we've had power. I was not prepared for this. Stormed last night. Most of the decorations seem to be okay, but boy, did it get bustly out here. We've got some limbs down, got some decorations knocked down. But I think hardest hit is the goat shelter. I think that's no more. I think it's all done. <laughs> Girls, did you get a little wet? What are you doing? Wow. Wowie, wow. <laughs> Good. Good to see that all the goats were okay. And we were just so close to getting this in. Got it off the truck in the dark of night. And then it started storming. And we hoped this shelter would hold up a little bit, but. <laughs> what are you girls doing? Did it storm last night? Did you get about as much sleep as I did? Cause I didn't get any sleep. I didn't get any sleep. Ryan did come out here and make sure they were okay. And when he saw they had made a little fort um, and that nobody was injured, he uh, <laughs> just left it this way for now. When he gets home, the big sturdy shelter will be moved in. This thing has survived many a hurricane. Hey girls. A little wet, but no worse for wear. You kitties sure are telling me all about that storm, aren't you? They have been <laughs> circling my feet. Meowing. Yeah. It was a rough night, but you look super dry. You found a nice dry place, I bet, under the barn. Patience and Peter are fine. Dry as can be. Standing in your hay, that's a bad idea, Peter. <laughs> Patience did not go home with her new owners yesterday. She is going to be bred first. And then she will be going to her new owners. Autumn just wants to be bedded. Wow, she stayed pretty dry. Some of the goats got wet for sure. But they are so excited now. That's better. So we should have done last night, but it started storming on us and we thought, well, they'll be okay. And what I was thinking, because the shelter was right here, is that I could just come out here and take down the fence and just let them go in the shelter free ranging, but they made it out okay. So I got Dalton to help me roll this into here. I thought I could do it myself, but it was actually heavier than I thought. Ryan always says it with such ease, but now they got the hay. You can see the storms are still potentially going to rain again, but uh, it's sunny over here. So I got no sleep. We have no power. I'm covered in wet goat poop from removing the old shelter that they had pooped on because it was, you know, tarp like material got a lot of poop on it that was wet so I have wet poop on my arms hands hair and I can't take a shower because we're on a well now so there's no water either when the power goes out <laughs> I think I'm gonna put a generator on my wish list <laughs> it's actually been on my wish list mentally for a long time so that'll be good but we got the tractor home uh, we got the bees 
I'll be showing you a video on that next. P.S. I did use some on guard concentrate and some rainwater to wash my arms and hands. It's <laughs> the best I can do for now. Got some baby wipes, so we'll be all right. It has now been over 24 hours since we've had power. I was not prepared for this. Luckily, we do have some emergency candles that I just happened to know which box they were in and where the box was because all of our household belongs are still in boxes. Most of them. What else, 2020? What else? I take that back. Don't ask that question. I think this might have happened because people keep asking that question. Let's not jinx ourselves anymore. It also happens to be the coldest night of the season so far. Yay. I get to drink my cold coffee. At least I have coffee. Ryan got a bottle of iced coffee for us to share so that we'd have something better than nothing, right? And we're just all bundled up, cuddling warm on the couch to try to stay warm. Are you, are you cozy, Odin? Cozy, cozy boys? Yeah. Oh, did you lose the toy you were playing with? Good thing you got brothers. Oh, he loves that thing. I think Odin might be teething, y'all. And he's been extra fussy. <laughs> nursing a lot. <laughs> biting more. <laughs> and he kind of almost felt like he was a little warm. So I'm going to crawl back under the cupboards with him. Let him warm me up. You boys are good brothers. I'm going to do my best to document this power outage and how we live off grid for this time being. But my phone battery is dying. The power bank that Dalton uses in his computer was able to charge it the first day, but it has run out of power now. So it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge to try to charge it in the vehicle because it charges very slow out there so we'll see what do you guys think of not having any power uh not fun what's the worst part um not having internet for our devices after oh dinner. how did i know you're gonna say that what's the best part um uh, i'm still able to um eat good what about you liam what's the worst part same as your brother's devices What's the best part? That we have water now. No. Oh, that we have water in the water bottles to drink. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Okay, drink some water. I'm what do you think is the worst part about not having water? Um, and I ought to make soup as a good dinner. What about you, Liam? Um, and... Dying for thirst. Well, we have water to drink now. I know. I think the worst part about not having water is not being able to flush the toilet. That's pretty gross, right? Uh, no. Oh. Doesn't bother Odin, little mosquito bite boy. Boop, boop. Those mosquitoes love that baby face. Um, you. Um, my face. <laughs> <laughs> You're all weird.
they're fed, they do still have water. We have enough rainwater collected for about a day's worth of water for all the animals. That includes poultry, cats, dogs, goats. So hopefully we'll have power restored after that, but they're estimating at least two or three more days. So wish us luck and um, hopefully everything will be okay. Pardon my mess. We've got the chest freezer here. We've got one in the laundry room and we have uh, two other freezers, one in the refrigerator in the barn, one in the refrigerator in the house that we are um, hoping stay frozen. The freezer in the house has already defrosted. We took all of the meat out as it was still frozen and put it into this chest freezer. So we're crossing our fingers that it will stay frozen and that the power will be restored before things start to thaw. With this year's pandemic canning that went through the nation, we couldn't get canning jars. So all of our produce for the year, meat, vegetables, everything is in the freezer. Nothing got canned. That is our year's worth of food. So we are crossing our fingers and saying our prayers. Hurricane Zeta wiped out so many customers for power. There are still 15,000 people without power in our area alone. We weren't prepared for this. We are hoping that we get our power restored soon, but there's no telling how long it'll be. We still have high winds in our area that are impacting the repair rate and slowing it down and actually causing new customers to be without power. We pray for our linemen. We hope that they can get things restored as quickly as they can, but most importantly, we want them to be safe and we understand that everybody is suffering through this. It's just a lot harder when uh, you have a bunch of animals relying on you, when you have a well that relies on electricity, and when you have a teething baby and young children. It kind of makes it a little bit more challenging, but hey, we're always up for a good challenge, right? We feel extremely blessed that we were spared any casualties or injuries. All of our animals are safe and protected. We are safe and protected. Our home is safe. Those are blessings. So many people have it so much worse. Our biggest loss was our temporary shelter that we were going to be using for hosting events here at Wholesome Roots. It is somewhat salvageable. There are parts that we'll be able to still use. Ryan even thinks that he might be able to bend some of the poles back straight and reinforce them. Um, to possibly even make the shelter what it was. I question that, but I know that we can at least use some of this and the tarp that covered it is intact and in good condition so we can reuse that for other purposes as well. We always repurpose and reuse here at Wholesome Roots. That water trough has to last all day for all of the animals. It is already depleted from yesterday's use and we are just hoping and praying that we can get some water from another source. I'm gonna check in with a couple of neighbors that we've met and see if they have city water here because there is city water available in this location. So there's a possibility we may have a neighbor that'll let us fill up some five gallon buckets. Shelter, that's for sure. Kitty, I wouldn't go near where Titus is. 
He wants to play with you. <laughs> they found that they have this nice dry area under the barn to get out of the wind and the rain. <laughs> if Titus doesn't scare them, Titus, be nice to the kiddos. Titus has his shelter right there, built off the side of the barn. He loves it. Kitty says, I want to share it with you. Titus says, no way. Kitty says, never mind, I don't. <laughs> Khaleesi girl is in with the goats. She's able to share her shelter and water with them. We can't use any of our rainwater to flush because the animals need it more than it does. Hey, what are you doing? I'm so glad that Odin knows how to entertain himself without devices. He says, I just kick my leg and it makes my seat bounce. Whee! We just got some really great news, guys. We may have somebody bringing us a generator to borrow. We may be able to get some water running so we can flush that toilet, water our animals, and plug in our freezers. I am so excited and grateful. I have no idea how to use a generator, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully they can give us a quick tutorial. How exciting is that, Odin? He says, yeah, I'm good. I, I don't care if there's power. I, I, just, I just want somebody to talk to me and play with me and entertain me. That's all. Little fussy teething baby. What are you doing? Wow, that looks like fun. Yep. So, you guys do know how to have fun playing outside and not on your devices. Yep. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> The sun finally came out. It's warming up out here. Um, still, the wind is really blowing and it's really cool breeze. It's a cold front, isn't it? Do you want a jacket, Odin? Are you okay? You okay? Are you? I think he's, I think he's okay. Anyway, uh, we are just going out here to see if we can find some extension cords for a possible generator that's coming for us. So hopefully we'll be able to figure some stuff out. Odin and I are just chilling here in the car while I charge my phone. Fun times, huh buddy? The cavalry has arrived. We have lots of help here now. We are super excited to get some generators going and get some power and water. That'll be great. Yeah, Y'all, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this. We just wanted to go plug in the freezer and the fan came on in the laundry room. Our power just turned off. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened if these wonderful people hadn't come to help us. They have brought the good luck to us. <laughs> Oh my goodness, like what are the chances of that? Like, oh. well, we got to meet each other though, yes. right? Yes, yeah. we did. yes, we did. So tell us about who you are and your channel. All right, well, we are James from Petway Family Farmstead. This is David over here from hey, Petway Family Farmstead. Just came out to give you guys a hand. That's, that's why we came. You guys need to go check out their channel on YouTube and please follow them because they're the most generous and kind people. And we had our other friends, Sharon and Jason, come and help us too. They don't have a channel, but may, maybe this will encourage them to have a channel. Yeah, so, so we tried to convince them that they have chickens. We try to convince them they can do quail in their neighborhood. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and if they get a channel, we'll both post it so that we y'all can go over there and tell them what else they can have in their neighborhood. That's right. There's a lot of homesteaders in neighborhoods, by golly. There sure is. That's right. I'm gonna go flush the toilet. Me too, Liam, me 
two. Y'all, what a whirlwind this has been. An incredible journey, new friends, and wonderful blessings to have our power restored. And now to go shopping and see what generator we're gonna add to our list because it is definitely something we don't wanna have to go through again.